You're new to Roll20 and can't figure out how to do anything or what you're even looking at. In this video, I will present an overview of the four major areas of the Virtual Tabletop Interface. We'll go over each of these major areas in detail in future videos. For now, we'll take a short orientation of the screen layout and get our bearings. Let's go traveling. Hi everybody, I'm Frank from Cyborg Prime Games. I produce content for sci-fi RPGs. Over at my website, you can find adventures, deck plans, expansion tables, random loot generators, and more. If you want to improve your Traveler or CFES Engine game, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. That will keep you notified when I post new content, and it will help other gamers find this video as well. Alright, begin by signing into a game. Once you have logged on to a Roll20 game, you'll be presented with the virtual tabletop. This virtual space is shared with the GM and the other players, and is made up of four major areas. The tabletop. The tabletop toolbox. The page toolbar, that's only visible to GMs. The sidebar tabs. Let's have a look at each of these one at a time. Section 1, the tabletop. The tabletop is where all the action happens. This is where the handouts, character sheets, maps, and dice are displayed. This area allows the placement and control of miniatures or tokens, and also displays any playing cards the player is holding. The bottom area shows the avatars of all the players or their live stream audio and video feed from their webcam. Section 2. The Tabletop Toolbox The next major section of the Virtual Tabletop is the Tabletop Toolbox. This is where players and GMs can access controls for moving the map view and tokens, pinging places on the map to draw people's attention to, marking up the map with text or hand-drawn art, zooming in or out, measuring distances with the measuring tape, accessing the Visual Dice Roller tool, and accessing the Help tool. There are additional tools on this toolbar that you can only see from the GM view. These tools include the map layer and dynamic lighting controls, the visual effects controls, the fog of war, and the turn tracker controls. Section 3. The Page Toolbar You have access to the Page Toolbar only from the GM view. This area allows you to create, name, and rearrange pages which hold your maps and miniatures. You can set the page size to match the maps you plan to use. If you are a Pro or Plus user, you can activate dynamic lighting when creating a new page. Use the page toolbar to determine which map the players can currently see. Although players usually stay on the same map, it is possible to split the party up between multiple maps so each player can see a different map. Section 4. The Sidebar Tabs On the right side of the screen you'll find the Sidebar Tabs. This is where players and GMs can access the chat, the journal, the jukebox, and user settings. If you're signed in as the GM you will also see an Art Assets tab where you can bring in new maps, tokens, and other assets. What part of the Roll20 interface do you find hardest to use? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, why not give it a like? Until next time, my friends, happy traveling.